This morning on today's home, spring entertaining. Warmer weather is on the way. It's time to host a gathering of friends to toast in the season with some refreshing cocktails. We've got lifestyle expert <laughs> Colin Cowley here with some fun ways to spruce up and spice up our next get togethers. Good morning, you. Good morning, Anne. We've got How are some you? able helpers here. Yes, and what you. have you brought us? I've got cocktails from around the world, but let's start in England. Why not? Yeah. Because they have something that's called a, a Pim's, Pim's cup. Oh. Pim's yes. cup. Yes. Love the cup. It looks like a salad in a cup. Early 19th century. It's a gin based drink. Drink, but beautifully refreshingly made with cucumber and orange segments. Mm. So the great thing about this when we're entertaining large groups of people, we get to make this in a big picture in advance. And for an added sweetness, we just get to top it up with a little bit of Sprite on top. And if you want a bit more peppery, you could also top that up with a little bit of ginger beer. Ginger mm. beer. Ginger yeah. beer. Okay, so it's and mostly get, rum and Sprite and... No, it's a gin-based gin. drink. Gin-based. Yes. Gin okay. Drink and there's the, the Pim's syrup, right? Or and the, the Pim's syrup. So why right. don't you try gotcha. that? It's a great, great okay, drink. Okay, here we go. Very I'm going to give one. this a Very shot. Very refreshing. And I like this on a Sunday just before lunch. And somewhere mm. it's Sunday right about now. Yeah, or, Monday yes. th- or Monday through Friday it just is. before dinner. <laughs> you know what? It's really refreshing. You're absolutely right. It's got a little bubble to it. Exactly. And but, nice and refreshing, right? But this is not all you've brought. No. Yeah. From here, Let's we're going to move south. on. We're going to go to Brazil. Brazil. Okay. The so drink this of is, my people. This is the drink of your people. Actually, you should be teaching me, yes. not me teaching well, you, but we can I've, teach I've them. I've had a few of these. My parents actually are, love guy beating us. Okay. So let's start it by muddling our food. We take four pieces of limes. And we take some ginger. So and you're then, making a different variation with the ginger and you're going to do Yes, we're going to make a ginger, coconut, and a lime caparinha. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is to muddle all these flavors in mm. here. You can make one too. Okay. Okay. Oh, so we're going to release all the work. flavors. I I get put to work. And the muddling mm-hmm. allows to all break the cells down so the juices come out. Right. We're going to add to that about two tablespoons of agave, which is our, Here it is. our sweetener. Yes. Ooh, that looks good. And then I love this coconut water, Natalie, because it's kind of like nature's Gatorade. Mm-hmm. There's more potassium in here than you'll find in a bunch of bananas. I drink it daily. It's you do? Great. Mm-hmm. And about two tablespoons in there of that. Okay, Give that so a I'll nice muddle. Is this coconut water right Give here? Give coconut water good to go. And depending on how strong you like them, I happen to like mine. A little stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. All right. Six o'clock somewhere, darling. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Miss. What is this again that you just poured in? That's this cachaça. is the cachaça. 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 Now, it used to be difficult to find. Right? Yes, Same but you can thing. find it. It's wonderful stuff. It's kind of like the te- new tequila. Oh, yes. It'll jumpstart any party. Good. And the great thing, the garnish is in the drink. Can I give you some ice there? Yes, sir. Thank you. You'll take your muddler out. And the good thing is to give it a really good shake, mm-hmm. so we get it nice and cold. This is right. Fill it all over me. Don't do that. Oh. Woo! And get a little workout. Now yep. it's a party. There we go. I find these Excellent. fun green glasses at CB2. Ooh. All my stuff stayed at the bottom. There, there we go. go. And the mm-hmm. great thing about this drink is that the, the, the garnish comes with yes. the drink. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Very nice. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. They're good. El, can I tempt okay. you with the flavor? Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. Thank Before you, sir. we move on to Africa. Mm. Could, I, could I try it? Mm. Is that delicious? Fantastic. So good, right? And we got a nice I little like display here. So if you, if you, if you find that you're mm. entertaining a large group of people, I love to put this like beer and rosé buffet together. Right. I found this wonderful handy ice cooler at a uh, uh, front gate. Mm-hmm. So we have an interesting variety of different beers. Yes. What I like doing with beer now is being able to garnish it with different types of. Uh, of garnish. So you hold that for okay. a second. So sometimes I like to take the Corona and either put a sliver of ginger right into there oh, and drink oh. it right out of the bottle, which mm-hmm. is a great way to do oh, it. That's a good idea. Or another one, fun one. This do you want to? This looks cool. Doesn't Isn't that it? cool? Yeah. If you like it all spicy, take a jalapeno chili oh, and drop a jalapeno wow. chili inside there, which oh. is also a great way to go. And of course, the longer you leave it in there, the more chili it becomes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is a great drink to do here, which is the uh, with the orange segment right. and the and the, the Belgian beer. Wow. Okay, and then of course and my favorite that? rosé. Uh, and then right here we have our trio of drinks. Very nice. Lovely sofa. Come, come, come to our house and, and organize yes. a party because you're a part of this looking at the baby. All, All this booze, I'm surprised young. Kathy Lee didn't show up. And they're next with oh, actors. They'll be here. They're right behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Bang it down the door. Welcome news.